For this video recording, I'd like to show um, some of my crystal accoutrements that protect me from both EMF and black magic. Okay, this is, um, this is what I'll be using for today, July 7, uh, Tuesday. This is a um, rutilated quartz, as you can see, the knot still there. I think um, I bought this last year, and I just I I, I, I just cut off some of the extra nylon thread in which it came in, and I didn't bother to resting it anymore. So this is how it looks when I bought it from a Kiapo beading shop, where they do not label their stuff. So you have to know how your crystals look like, or you are if you're lucky, you bring along someone you know and you can trust and drag along to Kiapo with you okay because it's not one it's at a shopping mall Kiapo is a district in Manila a, a PC one at that okay so I this am the rutilated quartz which is actually um, quartz crystal with rutiles uh, amplifies the energy of this necklace that I made I designed myself and I recently repaired remember I was talking about uh, doing some beadwork recently and there yeah. oh, I don't know how to <laughs> okay so um this necklace very simple design of three each three of quartz crystal beside the uh, black tourmaline these are necessary these are basic uh, basics for my accoutrements the clear quartz and the tourmaline a black tourmaline for uh, the piezoelectric qualities of both uh, stones which means they can generate they have, a, have a, a, a electrical charges in them and then this is smoky quartz smoky quartz chips and tiger eye agates and then tourmalinated quartz which means it combines the energy of clear quartz and the black tourmalines mm -hmm. two in one there so let me just repeat the design three of each chip so it was a no-brainer to design and it came out nicely if i may say so myself because they were cubed, the uh, tiger eye quartz, and then these were cubed also, the design, insert chips, small chips, the big ones were these, the clear quartz. Okay, so, there you go. And then, the, I, have, um, I usually wear a matching necklace, and, yeah bracelets for the tri triangulation effect power of the crystals this was an advice we got um, I think it was from Odin I don't remember anymore was it from Casbolt? I'm sorry guys I cannot acknowledge you as my source but uh, when we were designing Trainee and I when we were we, we, did, we were making our own accoutrements which we still do up to now um, and um we're designing this for the astral weapons but when we need to use our astral weapons we're supposed to be wearing crystals and have one in each wrist i think this one i was really guided um i just don't remember was telling me maybe Uriel, uh for the for the astral weapon to be effective so i had to have one such bracelet in each wrist aside from the necklace and I think I was also told what crystals were, but definitely um, there are times when I do my chanting, there are some gestures and that I have an astral weapon, a sword that I use to clear blockages, astral blockages. So that's when this uh, this is necessary, but just for uh, uniformity sake, the stuff that I designed, they all have matching bracelets and necklaces you know it looks nice on you know to wear also so i have wear one on each wrist there and this one is all just one each of the if this here comes in threes this is all one of each see it was very easy to design in that sense 
I just had to make sure that what this one and this one they had to um, fit in my wrist. These are made of stretch nylon. This is made of ordinary nylon thread. Doesn't stretch. This one, of course, I have to stretch so that I can wear them over my. Uh, put them into my hand easily. Uh, so, and they're like seven, uh, seven inches. Originally seven inches. I don't remember I'm gonna this measurement. Okay, so let's go back first there. So amplifier. We call this an amplifier. Then the the necklace for the day with the matching bracelets. So there. Okay, amplifier, the matching set. That I don't bother anymore in terms of matching the how it looks. You know that I should have for the others because I have to wear seven bracelets. So whatever's available. Okay, so these two go to my neck. And then these are for my wrists. Okay, there. So I just uh, just get whatever I feel like wearing for the day. Um, as long as I know they're all for protection, it's okay. So this is for the day. Um. This is clear quartz with black tourmaline polish. And this is garnet and obsidian and milky quartz. And some in between spacer beads of black tourmaline chips. There. So milky quartz, obsidian. Obsidian is more for black magic rather than for EMF. Garnet. This one was a gift from Trainee. She had these nice garnet beads. I although normally I really, really don't like using rounded beads, but you know because we want to, the coterments to look like they're just real ordinary. You know, nothing special. They have to look like they're for uh, aesthetic purposes. So. Um, I had to I had designs that make them look like they're just jewelry and then this one I was able to buy on sale in Kiapo so, so I bought obsidians and this one you just buy in strands and just choose the nice looking ones so these are the nice looking ones because this is for daytime so you want again you want your crystal accoutrements to look like they're just really adornments for you Rather than for protective purposes. Then, these are chips. All chips. Uh, fluorites. And quartz crystal. Okay, fluorites. Uh, rainbow. Green, blue fluorites. And I just select from when I buy a strand. I just select the nicer looking ones. The clearest ones. And... Okay, so these are chips because sometimes when you buy fluorite they don't really look that you know not all of them look nice they're, they're okay it's fluorite with quartz crystal as you can say I like combining energies I find it boring to wear just all quartz all obsidian all fluorite you know. I'd rather combine my beads course that also amplifies like I have quartz all of the time to amplify the energies of the stones beside them like to amplify the energy of the obsidian and the garnet and the black tourmaline so uh, that's why I really like having quartz in all of my stuff if possible for design you know, so that I designed all of this by the way I made them all by myself I did that by this I only bought the beads and I just Designed it myself. This is um, agate. I don't remember now if this is three agate or most agate. Um, there are a few bead shops in Kiapo where you can ask the sales lady if they have this and they know their crystals. Like so, you can ask. Do you have? May, do you have agates? Uh, do you have three agates, most agate? So I just don't remember if this is. Looks like moss. So this is probably moss agate. It's hard to for me. You know when it, when you know when you're it's an agate because there's some translucent ones 
agates basically have some translucence to them rather than jaspers which are opaque that's why I need to tell apart an agate from a jasper but they're both from the same uh, family of quartz crystals okay. they do it inclusions okay. it's a combination of moss and tree agate and then this is yeah clear quartz chips again to amplify the energies of the agates there so yeah again this is my own design i think i alternated the moss and the three agates and then these are jaspers these are all jaspers or and with the combined black tourmaline polished black tourmaline uh, this one okay yeah there see this is um the black tourmaline the tube design you can tell apart a black tourmaline bead from an obsidian yeah this one the obsidian here uh, when you you have to have a sharp like a crystal quartz crystal chip with a sharp edge or and you have to scratch the surface if white shows up under the surface it's a black that's a tourmaline if it's not black like this is obsidian and there's a certain sheen to obsidian it's a bit rainbow like if you hold it up to the light and of course it helps when you say this lady knows their stuff but for you to be sure you can scratch and if the white shows up here obviously there's white because uh I like actually I like my beads to be flawed I don't like it all uh, like this all uh, flawless I'm that kind of person because I like to show off the natural beauty and it ensures me that I'm, what I'm buying is natural because I don't like buying things of nice flawless amethyst beads or quartz beads because they look like they're plastic for me because I like to see them flawed with inclusions and like this a variety of the agates that cannot you know it's all natural there see they're all natural looking okay so these are jaspers combined with black tourmaline uh, different color jaspers and i guess there are some agates here then this is a black tourmaline chips these are all chips and quartz crystal chips well the jasper is already a type of uh, quartz with inclusion so these are red and green jaspers and pic i guess picture jaspers jaspers also aside from being opaque would have either dots or stripes although agates normally would have stripes jaspers would have dotted stuff dots rather than stripes also or just a various a various uh, a type of agate like tiger eye agate see stripes see there and uh, okay so these are jaspers with black tourmaline and quartz but um yeah so that's five five bracelets and two matching ones from the main and there's the necklace there so two necklaces and two bracelets and five bracelets of various stones are uh, all all that i designed yeah i designed all of these except for <laughs> this one okay so hope you enjoyed this short video